poverty, the homelessness, it's crazy. Watch your back, 360 degrees. Todd Graves. I'm 36 years old. I reside in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and I'm worth over $60 million. Here's to a good evening. My wife, Gwen, and I live a great lifestyle. We get to go to black tie events, whether they're with the governor or entertainers. We love to eat great food and drink great wines. I'll drop the four or $5,000 on dinner and not even think about it. <laughs> Who's ready to go cut some vegetables? Hiya! Todd and I have been married for eight years now, and we've got two wonderful kids, Charlton, who's four, and Sophia, who is six. We've been living in this house, which is very special to us. We read it ourselves. We love it, and we have a wonderful support staff. We've got the nanny here full time. We've got two runners that take care of the grocery store, picking up dry cleaning, and I have people for really anything we need taken care of. We love to travel. We have a private plane, and we get to take the kids all over the world and stay at the best places. It's really uh, incredible because I started with absolutely nothing. All right, all right, how's everybody today? Good deal. Y'all been busy, huh? In 1996, I founded the Raisin Cane Chicken Finger Chain. How are we doing on our mystery shoppers, Ian? Really well. We got. Uh... When I was in college, I worked in the restaurant business, and I saw a niche in the chicken finger only business. I wrote a business plan for a restaurant, and it actually got the worst grade in the class. It was a C minus. The teacher said the concept would never work. So what I did was I went out to prove him wrong. We opened the first location in 1996. By age 27, I became a millionaire. And today, we have Raisin Canes in 13 states and over 70 different locations. Look, now, is that the perfect plate, girls? Yeah. Raisin Canes has been a huge success, but we also have another millionaire in this house, and uh, it's my wife, Gwen. All right, does it look pretty? I was also in the restaurant business until two years ago. I had a McDonald's franchise a long time. I sold my restaurant to spend more time with my children, so it's kind of neat that I'm kind of a millionaire in my own right. Neither of us ever question why we're together. We are together because we're soulmates and not for the financial availability of the other person. Hi, Daddy! Hi, it's the tree time, son. To tell you the truth, Gwen and I live a very nice lifestyle, but I still appreciate every day how fortunate we are. I feel that I need to give back to the community. I think it's the right thing to do. Hey, Charlie, look at that. We got that little monkey. Two little monkeys. Little monkeys. I'm really nervous about the story I'm going to tell people because it's not true. I am a multimillionaire trying to pose myself as an average Joe. So I'm a little bit apprehensive uh, of, of how I'm gonna pull it off. I guess my biggest fear for the week is our safety. Going into an unknown place, there's a lot of people that are, are really in need and you can do desperate things when you're in need. This experience is going to be unlike anything we've ever done in our lives. It's not just like writing a check that we've done before. We're actually going to see the people we're giving this money to. There's a map. map? Burris RV Park, Burris, okay. Louisiana. We're going to Burris, which is on the Gulf Coast, right in hurricane country. All right. Let's well, go get it. See what we can do. See 
Marta, Burris. I'm a word. Wow. Todd and I were driving down, and it was really odd. Everything got very quiet and very still and very just visions of Hurricane Katrina came back immediately. I haven't been in this area post-Katrina. I was really blown away by the destruction that's still here. Oh my gosh. This is us? This is us. When Todd and I drove up and we saw that trailer for the first time with dirt all over it, I really thought, what in the world have I gotten myself into? Oh, right here. Oh, my gosh. This is us? This is us. Good Lord. Pulling up to our trailer, uh, when I didn't even get out of the Suburban uh, for a little while, we're just looking around, trying to take it all in. Oh Let's go check it out. Home sweet home. Todd and I are so fanatical about cleanliness and just it was kind of dirty outside and it's kind of nervous about what I would find inside. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is it. Oh, the smell in here is bad. Holy cow. What is, is this? Oh, that would be the restroom with the aroma. Is the smell? Uh. <laughs> When we walked inside, the smells were not too pleasant. And just, it was very hot. There's no room to walk around. And there's one itty bitty bedroom. I've got my t shirt to cover the pillowcase. Germaphobe that I am. I don't know. It's just a whole different space to live in compared to what we have at home. Holy cow. Kind of steamy in here, isn't it? This is going to be home for six days. Holy cow. That's scary. We gotta find groceries. Nothing around here is close, and you need to drive, and you gotta drive long distances just to buy necessities. How much money should we be spending anyway? I don't know. We gotta think about a week's worth of groceries. So. For more information about how you can help organizations who aid those in need, please visit www.fox.com/secretmillionaire.